The Padres, the Cubs, the Rangers, A's, and Phillies are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five stacks for today. It is Sunday, August 27th. We are talking FanDuel, and we're doing it right after this. Signing up for our MLB package is going to be the smartest thing you're going to do for this Sunday, and maybe in the history of your life. $18.95 a week is the normal cost. 50% off using the promo code SCORE. Just click the link in the description. It'll take you right where you need to be. You see it on the screen right now. That's what you get. Projected fantasy points, ownership, top stacks, top pitchers, top batters, the lineup generator, which I'm promising you right now, that is going to pay for this entire package for you. That's the thing you're looking for, plus our premium Discord. If you hate it, cancel it anytime. The Boston Red Sox are in at number five, taking on the Dodgers and Gavin Stone. 4.7 run implied total here for the Sox. 6% chance top stack, 5% chance at top value. It's really blurry at the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight. You can mix and match these guys, and I wouldn't have much of a complaint. Verdugo for 3,100 looks great in the leadoff spot. Justin Turner's got the MPE, certainly helps him out. Trevor Story's second base shortstop. If he were hitting higher in the order today, he'd look a lot better. And then you've got the Luis Urias. Triple MPE, second, third, short. Very, very good flexibility for Boston. And I haven't even mentioned the guy with the biggest ceiling, Rafael Devers, 3,800. Don't pass up that price tag. Didn't expect to see this one here. Marlins in at number four, taking on Trevor Williams and the Nats. This one is in Miami, so we're in a bit of a pitcher's park, but Trevor Williams helps out with that by being a not good pitcher. 5% chance at top stack, 8% chance top value. A lot of power in this Marlins lineup now. Jazz Chisholm in the leadoff spot at 3K, probably your best option. I don't even know why I said probably. He's definitely your best option. Uh, Luis Arias is only 2,900. That's a really nice way to finish off second base. Josh Bell, only 2,900. Decent enough way to close out first base. A lot of flexibility here. And since you don't need a catcher on FanDuel, having one in the eight hole is very beneficial. The only thing that Miami is missing are MPEs, but with their price tag structure, I don't really think it matters. Orioles in at number three, 7% chance at top stack, 8% chance at top value, taking on Ty Block and the Rockies, 5.2 run implied total. Now we're in Baltimore, it would be nice if we were in Colorado, but these guys look exceptional. The matchup doesn't get much better, there's so much righty power. Rutschman, Mountcastle, Santander, Austin Hayes, Gunnar Henderson is going to have the lefty lefty, which is unfortunate, but third base shortstop MPE certainly helps with flexibility. Maybe you don't want to go to Gunnar Henderson. You have the same shortstop third base MPE on Jordan Westberg. So either way you want to go there is going to be fine. Maybe you don't like either one of them. Jorge Mateo is also available at shortstop if you want to go that way. I think the ceiling here is massive, massive because Ty Block just isn't very good. 9% chance at top stack, 5% chance at top value. That's the Dodgers. Now, five run implied total against Tanner Houck and the Red Sox. It's a tale of two separate teams. Betts, Freeman, Smith, Muncie. Shouldn't really need an explanation for that. Those four guys are exceptional every single day. I don't even really care what the matchup is. Will Smith is such a good hitter that it doesn't matter that he's a catcher. That's what's interesting about the Dodgers. But we didn't even talk about the other half of the team. Ultra cheap down the line, outfielders, Michael Bush at third, Miguel Rojas second short MPE. You're taking probably three of the first four guys for the Dodgers and augmenting them with one of the cheap outfielders at the bottom. There's just a giant line in the sand drawn through the center of the Dodgers lineup. Grab the big bats at the top, find one little cheap guy at the bottom, and now you've got yourself a really nice Dodger stack. And then we close it out with the Toronto Blue Jays taking on Noah Syndergaard and the Guardians. 5.2 run implied total for Toronto. 8% chance at top stack, 9% chance at top value. They're just a more cost-effective version of the Dodgers. Merrifield's got the MPE in the leadoff spot. Bichette for 3,300, very easy price tag to get to. You have two separate first base options or use them both if you need to. Belt and Guerrero. Springer, Varsho, Chapman, Kirk. Massive, massive power against Noah Syndergaard, who does, he looks more like the fat Thor in whatever movie that was. I don't, I've never seen any of them. Go, play the Blue Jays. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. There we go, folks. Those are my FanDuel contenders for Sunday, August 27th. DraftKings version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck, everybody. Win some money. I'm back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.